Welcome back guys. Today we are going to see HIV testing algorithm for people 18 months of age and above. This one is one and a half years and above. So the, start, the starting point of testing we use determine. This is the test strip we use for determine. We can also use or a kit, we can use HIV and syphilis testing kit, but all will come into this confirmatory test. A determine is negative, and that is non-reactive. We report as the child, is, the person is non-reactive or HIV negative. And then, if the determine turn positive that is reactive we do the confirmatory test with start pack if there are shown two line that is positive we report hiv positive and if the start pack reported negative that is one line we will do the test, the tiebreaker test, and the tiebreaker test we use SD BioLine. And if SD BioLine is reactive, is reactive, that is two lines we report inconclusive, and the person will be retest after fourteen days. And if the SD BioLine reported negative, that is non-reactive, we report the person is HIV negative. And if after the 14 days for inconclusive results, the result has come inconclusive again, we need to remove the sample and label the second sample inconclusive and we take to the national laboratory testing and from there the result will either become positive or negative that is all this is hiv testing algorithm for uganda and they start with determine and if it is positive we go to confirmatory test we start pack and if the start pack is positive we record positive or if the start pack so negative then we we do the tiebreaker test that is we use sd bioline test if it turn reactive that one the result will be inconclusive and then the person will be retested after 14 days and if the result come inconclusive again after 14 days they take the sample and take to the national laboratory and there the result will either come positive or negative that is all thank you for watching and see you in the next one